Hello there, Stuart Elford here, Chief Executive of Devon and Plymouth Chamber of Commerce, with what is now my monthly update. Uh, I hope you're enjoying hearing from other members of the team rather than seeing my face all the time um, and finding out a bit more about what's been going on uh, in the Chamber uh, around all our various aspects of international trade, membership and events. Uh, I start this week with a bit of bad news actually, but it turns into potentially good news. We were unsuccessful in our bid to be uh, a trailblazer for the Skills Accelerator program. Uh, this is the program that came out of the white paper on the future of further education. Uh, I don't wish to be political, we are an apolitical organisation, but if you map those that were successful, it is clear why the money and investment has gone to those areas, and not one of the Skills Accelerator programmes is in the Southwest Peninsula. I am so angry about the lack of investment in the Southwest, and I should be taking this up uh, at national level and at regional level and calling to account those who are responsible for promoting our region and our MPs who should be doing more to get investment to our region. But the bit of good news that comes out of it is that the partnerships we developed as we worked up our expression of interest with the colleges, the local authorities, with the business representative organisations, trading providers, uh, with a huge range of organisations, that those relationships are going to continue and in fact we are working at how we can do this anyway. Skills Accelerator uh, program we, we will roll out further, LSIPs as they're known, local skills improvement plans will be coming even if it's further down the line. So we're going to get a jump start on this and we're going to work uh, with those organisations whether government funded or not. So look out for more on that in due course. Uh, and on skills, uh, in the newsletter, you'll see details of uh, employer connection conferences run by our patron, City College Plymouth, uh, looking at skills around health and well-being, about construction and the built environment, about marine, digital, technical, um, engineering. So look out for those uh, coming soon uh, uh, in September. And I think they're really good conferences because we're working with them on this whole skills agenda, which I know is really, really important to all our members at the moment. Um, Thirdly, I just wanted to mention smart energy meters. Um, we know that you can get them for your house, but who knew that small businesses could get them too? And they help you with your cash flow planning, but also, um, of course, monitoring your energy use is good because it can help uh, you to uh, work on ways you can reduce your energy uses, which of course is good for the uh, environment. And we'll be rolling out a series of programs later in the year to help you uh, become carbon net zero, not just preaching thou shalt and thou shalt not, but we'll be giving you uh, a series of hints and tips, events, a whole load of programmes to help you um, reduce your carbon emissions and your environmental impact. Uh, finally, welcome to our new member, a Diversity Business Incubator. Uh, they are looking at helping the uh, BAME community uh, to be more successful as entrepreneurs, uh, which of course we really support and that's fantastic. Um, there's details of them in the newsletter and in fact I've been asked to uh, sit on a panel that's looking at increasing board diversity across the Southwest and the Chamber has been asked to run a programme to help uh, bring future leaders forward and I'll give you details of that in the future. In the meantime, I'd just like to say thanks for your continued support. It really is appreciated. I'm actually very excited for the future. I think we've uh, the Southwest is going to come out of this pandemic uh, with a lot to offer the world, and I think it's uh, it's going to show. And this is our time to shine. Thanks for your support, and speak to you soon.